Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Maria and in today's video, I'm doing a little Cezanne haul. I picked up some items from my summer wish list and I can't wait to try them on and share them with you. Let's get started. I'm not quite sure I remember what I got because I've been doing a lot of shopping lately on a couple of different sites and everything is just jumbling up in my brain. Let's just be surprised together. First up, okay, so this looks like a pair of trousers. These are going to be the Camilo Pantalon. Now, oh yes, okay. So I wanted to pair these specifically with the Goya top, the black bustier. If you saw my summer wish list, I'll link it down below. And I went through all my favorite brands and kind of picked up my summer wish list on those brands. I think it's a cute little video. You should definitely check it out. I wanted to specifically pair these two items together because I thought it would be a very elegant, sophisticated and glamorous look for going out to dinner. We are going on vacation in a week's time and I plan to do a lot of nice bougie dinners when we go out. Perhaps this might be a little too warm because this seems to be a very thick pair of trousers, but it's still gonna look fabulous. I know this was from a few collections back, but I haven't tried anything in a couple of months, so everything is new to me. Now, a couple of things I'm already seeing right off the bat, which I'm not too crazy about. First of all, it's missing some belt loops, which I like to have the option of wearing a belt or not wearing a belt. And yes, I do like a clean front sometimes, but I don't know, I just, I like a belt. That's a little bit of a strike. And also I'm not seeing any pockets here. So that is a little bit of a strike as well. I do enjoy a pocket. This seems to look to be very high waisted. Look at this rise. This rise is pretty high, a relaxed leg wide leg here and they look to be long. They feel like a nice heavy weight to them and they feel really nice. I'm excited to try them on and now let me dig through this other box and find the top that matches with it so I can put them together for you. Oh, okay, okay. So I wanted this Goya top, if, if I'm even saying it right, I wanted this top so badly that it had come back in stock in a four and a six and I quickly snatched up both because I wanted to ensure that I get the right size. This is absolutely going to be a keeper for me and it was just a matter of fitting, figuring out which one fits best for me. Already I'm in love. I mean, this looks absolutely incredible. If you can see, the gorgeous ruffling here. This is a bustier top. It has a zipper in the back. It has an elasticated waist here. It is quite short, but I think that's why those matching pants are gonna be so high-waisted, so it's not gonna have any tummy showing or maybe even just a sliver. If you are going to even a wedding this summer season, I think this little pairing here is absolutely perfect. If you're not wanting to wear a dress to the occasion, this pants outfit, stunning, stunning. You're gonna look elegant, chic, sophisticated, and perfectly appropriate for the occasion. It has inside elastication here, this smocking, which helps keep it nice and tight. Wow, let's not waste another second and just try this on. I had high hopes for this Goya top and believe me, it is not disappointing. This is a dream, I love it so much. Let me walk up here and just show you the beauty of it. It is gorgeous. This is the size four. I think you can easily size down on this. Thanks to the smocking on the back, it's giving a little bit of room, unless you are very, very busty. I mean, if you can get both sizes to try on, I think you're better off doing that. I just went straight for the size four. I haven't even tried the size six. This fits like a glove and it's an absolute dream. I am wearing my strapless bra underneath it. You can't see it. Not that I'm showing any cleavage at all because this ruffling here really hides it pretty well. One thing I do have to say is if you are going to yank this up to try yanking it up from this inner structure here. Don't try pulling it up by the ruffle. I just made that mistake and yeah, I already ripped the ruffle, but it's just a quick little stitch that I can handle myself. So no problem there. This one is a dream, a definite keeper. These beautiful trousers I'd say are also absolutely remarkable. I love the flat front detail here, very clean and just very, very minimal. This wide leg is gorgeous. I love how dramatic and long they are. I'm pairing them with a heel here, as you can see, and I'm five foot seven for reference. So they are quite long, but I love how they go all the way to the ground 
ground. This is such an elongating effect and very, very slimming. I do have to say, I do think these trousers run a teensy bit on the small side. I am wearing a size six, which is my usual size, but if I were to even gain a pound, I would say that I'll have trouble fitting them. If you are in between sizes, leaning more towards the larger size than the smaller size, then I'd say definitely opt for the larger size. Size up in that case, because you'll feel more comfortable in these. Th these do fit fantastic and they're nice and loose through the hips, but I do say in the booty area, I could maybe feel like if I were to work out my booty just a little bit too much, it's gonna be maybe a little too tight in that area. It's just skimming over me right now, so it's not feeling uncomfortable, but I just wanted to call that out. Beautiful start. I'm so happy with this and extremely looking forward to what else, everything else looks like. And I picked up these animal print Ciara trousers. These are leopard print 7 8 length trousers. I'm really, really excited about these. I got them in a US 6. These have a side zipper here. And again, oh my gosh, no pockets, no pockets again, but they appear to be nice high-waisted, a nice rise right there. So that's going to be good. They seem straight all the way down. They're not tapering at the leg. And I really hope these fit because these just look and feel gorgeous. First impression, I'm really loving how these look. Perfect, wonderful piece for the season. Very on trend animal print is having a hot hot moment right now i'm here for it i'm loving it can't wait to try these on i also picked up a cute little basic this is just a good little tank from cezanne this is the felicien felicien top basically a nice little tank top with some buttons down the front. I guess it's a little bit of a Henley style with the buttons here. Just kind of elevates this basic tank top into something a little more. I picked it up in a size medium. I do like my tank tops to be a little more fitted and not feeling like they're too loose. For me, they act as a good first layer and I always like to keep my first layer a little more fitted. I just needed a nice black elevated tank top to get me through the summer. Let's try it on. How darling are these trousers? Oh wow, they fit like a glove. They have, I think, 3% spandex in them, which makes them very, very fitted. However, in the best way, because I think they're super, super flattering. I love how they look. They are hitting me right at my belly button here. The cropped style is perfect. I was very sketchy about it because the website had a model that was extra tall and they were almost coming up as capris on her. But then I flipped through the images and I saw that some of the other models were a little shorter and it hit a little lower on the leg for them. Thought maybe these would be right. And they are perfect ankle length. I'm five foot seven for reference. These are so flattering. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how good these are. Wearing them with just some cute little Mary Janes. And this tank top fits like a glove. I love the fitted style of it. I could wear it with the buttons closed or open. Very, very flattering. It's just a great basic. Cannot go wrong with this. I think it's perfect. A pretty decent price point for what you're getting because I think it is a very good quality. Is this not just the most chicest little summer outfit ever? If you are wanting to try the animal print trend this season and you love leopard print, these are worth trying 100%. I think you're going to love them. We're about halfway through this video and are you loving this haul as much? as I am so far. If you are, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you're enjoying it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do Cezanne content here all the time and I'm trying to do a little bit more of it because I do love the brand. So I hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. All right, let's go on with it. Oh yes, okay, so this top I really wanted to also try. It was on my wish list. It's the Erica Top in Chocolate. This is just a cute little darling vest top, little tank top, but elevated, definitely elevated in style. Has a V-neck in the front and back. Cute little ruffling here. I'm not much of a ruffle girl, but something about this was really calling to me and I just had to try Try it. I love the chocolate color and I love the orange trim here. I do love a little pop of orange here and there. As you can tell, I'm wearing an oldie but goodie from Cezanne. This is a beautiful dress from several seasons back and I still reach for it in the summertime. I just, I love this dress and it's just always been 
one of my favorites from Cezanne. Perfect little top to wear with some summer shorts or jeans or a skirt. I think it's just gonna be a cute little elevated piece for the summer season. Jumping back to this box because I wanted to pair that Erica top with these Nick shorts. These are absolutely stunning on first impression. They feel exquisite, really elevated, good construction, absolutely gorgeous. As you can tell, they are most likely a very high waist. No belt loops and no pockets, but for shorts, I can forget give it a little more than with trousers. Classy, chic, elegant. On the website, they had it with the Erica top, so that is what just sold it on me. I'm gonna try these two pieces together, but I'm praying that they look as gorgeous on me as they did on the model. I knew I would love these pieces. That's why I put them on my wish list. And yes, of course, they are also fantastic. This top, it gives me such retro vibes. I love the look of it. I love this deep V and I love the deep V in the back. These ruffles, I don't know, I might be turning it to a ruffle lover because these are so darling. They accentuate the shoulders, which I don't need help in that department because I'm already very broad shouldered. However, I just love how they look. I am wearing the medium and I think maybe I could even stand to try a size small in comparison because I do have some room here. I mean, granted, I don't want it to be skin tight, but I feel like I can maybe get away with that. And usually tops like this that don't have an issue with sleeves, I can usually get away with going a size smaller because it, they're not competing with my broad shoulders. It might be worth trying in that case. Now these shorts are an absolute dream. They are high-waisted. Belly button is right down here. They're hitting at my natural waist. I think they are a beautiful, beautiful fit and they are elegant, classy. They are short but not too short. As you can see, they're mid-thigh. Not going to show anything. There's nothing going on back there. Very, very sophisticated. I've paired them here with some old Cezanne sandals, which I'm loving how these look. I haven't worn them in a while, but I've been pulling them out more and more lately. Little ensemble is just absolutely darling. I steamed the shorts before putting them on, but then I sat down to put my shoes on. And as you can see, they did wrinkle a little bit just from that action. I guess that is the beauty of a linen short or partially linen short that comes with the territory. Overall, I'm very, very happy with this. I think both pieces I'd say are very true to size, just gorgeous picks. I think definitely worth trying. Also in this box, Another wish list item. This one is the Dari top, and this is a cute little elevated top as well. Let me get the tissue out of there. It's like a poplin material. Nice asymmetrical neckline with one shoulder. Nice little ruffling. Again, I'm not much of a ruffle gal, but this one was really just catching my eye. Cropped in style, which I think will go great with those trousers as well. And just a nice elevated summer piece. I think Cezanne tends to do these so well. Have that little hint of sexiness, which I love from this brand, but they also keep it very sophisticated and elegant at the same time. That's why I love of Cezanne. And this is a piece that, although can hit some trends here and there, it could be also quite timeless and classic, especially if it resonates with your personal style, which it does for mine 100%. So let's get this on and see what it looks like. This Dari top, my goodness, I had to be a contortionist to get it on. It has a zipper here. The zipper goes all the way down, except for like about an inch here from the bottom. And it's very restricting as far as letting you get into it. I wish the zipper just went all the way down so that you could put it on like a shirt and zip it up that way. But it is too tight to slip through my hips and I couldn't get it over my shoulders. So I had to get it through one half of my shoulder and then squeeze the other one in. So not easy to get into, but once it's on, it's really, really cute. Future me here, I just discovered as I was unzipping the dory top that the zipper does go all the way down and lets you in and out of it very, very easily. So forget what I said. As you can see, the pretty little ruffle, the asymmetrical line, it is quite cropped. Be forewarned, you definitely are going to be showing a little tummy unless you've got some high-waisted pants on. These are not quite high-waisted enough. These are the Cillian trousers. I thought this looked beautiful together, a little pink and black. I love this top. I think it's very flattering, very sophisticated. I think it's a very chic piece and light enough for the summertime. Gorgeous. And oh my goodness, I saved the best for last. If you had seen my summer wish list video, I was completely gaga head over heels in love with this pairing from Cezanne and I just had to have it. I was so happy to see that it was still available and I added it to cart just as fast as I added all these other things, even faster. And it is the Malia skirt paired with the Anne shirt. 
both in the Milo Milo print. I just love this. I love how this is a little more delicate, daintier, lighter in pattern, but then it pairs exquisitely with this super ornate pattern here on the skirt. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is absolutely exquisite. I am not one that is big on patterns. And I have to honestly say most patterns from Cezanne, they just don't do it for me. They don't resonate with me. They're a little too loud. I, I just like things a little simpler, cleaner, minimal, but something about this just call, called to me. It just called to me, Maria, you have to try me. You have to try me. And I just, I just love this. I love how mini it is. I think it's gonna fit me really well. I've never actually tried any of the other variations of Malia skirts. Now it's funny that these are not matching materials, but you know, I really love that it just feels really flowy and light and airy. And this one has a little more structure to it. One thing I do love to do is mix textures. So this feels very rigid and I mean, not rigid like a pair of jeans. It definitely has a little bit more of a structure element to it versus this is nice and loose and flowy. I think they're going to complement each other well. I'm not going to waste another minute. I got to try this on and see what it looks like. Did I not save the best for last? This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so in love with this. If you can see this color and the pattern combo together, it's absolutely exquisite. I'm sorry, I should have done a better job steaming this top, but you can tell how incredibly gorgeous it is. I am so in love with this. This material feels like heaven. It's it's smooth and soft. It is a little on the heavy side, but I think it's still nice, loose and flowy. And I don't think it would cause you to overheat at all. And it's absolutely beautiful. I am wearing the size 40 in this. I do normally size up on button down shirts to accommodate my broad shoulders. Even though I don't have a large chest, it is affected by my broad shoulders. Sometimes I'm gaping at the buttons. This is fitting okay. I feel like it could stand to have a little more room in it, but sizing up would just be way too big on me. The sleeve length, as you can see, it's really long. I tried to recreate the model's look here by pairing it with a little bikini and I think that's absolutely darling. I'm thinking vacation vibes here. The pairing with this skirt, this Malia skirt, I absolutely love how this looks. I've never tried the Malia skirt before and this is quite short but it's not horribly short. It is still very, very wearable and I feel very comfortable in this. I'm wearing the size six. I have some room to spare here but I would not say that I could size down without it being way too tiny on me. I think this is a perfect fit. My belly button is right here, hitting me at my natural waist. And I just, I love this. I mean, how incredibly beautifully crafted is this pattern and putting this together. I mean, I could wear these separately or together. I'm not much of a pattern girl, but this is just speaking to me. If you haven't tried either of these yet, I definitely think you should give them a chance because I'm sold on it, I'm sold. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you think. I think you can tell already that I'm so in love with it. Well, I'm so happy my summer wish list items from Cezanne did not disappoint. I think this was overall a big success. Let me know what your favorite item was and shopping links are below in case you wanna check anything out. Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. I'd love to have you come back. I'll leave my wish list video on the screen here for you to check out next in case you've missed it. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.